Hello and welcome to the Pink Girly channel. That's my channel and I'm Lori. Glad that you could be here this evening and join me. And if you're watching the replay, welcome, welcome. Thank you for choosing to watch my channel. And to, today, tonight, I'm going to mess around with some tea bags. Hi, Angie. And uh, I think for a little warm up, I'm going to do a little page in my not my everyday journal. So I got some wrapping paper yesterday that I really thought was cute. My two sisters wrapped my gifts in some really cute paper. So I'm using that to uh, build a page here in my journal. And so I'm just taking, I took pieces of it and tore it apart into little sections. And I'm just putting some ink. Hey, Barbara. Hi. Nice to see you. Angie is crafting. Okay, Angie. I um, usually need a day or so to recover. Hey, Mina. Hi. Nice to see you. With my fiber, between my fibromyalgia and my spinal stenosis I uh, usually if I get out of my routine sometimes I need a day or so to recover so I slept a lot today I had a really big long nap and hi Clint and I'm feeling like I could have another nap <laughs> so we'll see how it goes little low on energy. Hi, Janice. Nice to see you. Hope everyone had a great day yesterday. Oh, I got a wet in the whistle. All right. So this is my not my everyday journal. Just going to do a little warm up while we wait for some folks to pop on in. I'll find an empty page here, more towards the front. I think this page will do because it's kind of green. So if you just popped in, what I did was gather some wrappings from one of my gifts. This wrapping paper was paper my sister Nancy used, which I thought really was cute. So I'm just going to glue this down, really. Try to get it all in here. See if I can come up with... Uh, oh, they're, they're, it's just so cute, you know. I want to try to use it all. Oh, Clint's back gave out too. Yeah, see, we do too much. We do too much. So I really haven't done much of anything today. My husband kind of got uh, some of the gifts put away. Now he's working on making some room in the refrigerator. I'm always I'm always last minute finishing up wrapping and usually finishing up a few gifts as well. And um, I got everything done, but the old bod suffers. So I had a great, we had a great morning with the grands and our daughter and son and son-in-law. And then we went on over to my sister's and spent the rest of the day with the rest of the family. My mom decided not to join in this year. And at 91, we let her do what she wanted. Yeah, I forgot to take my phone out. So this is the tag from this gift. Hey, Brenda, how are you? Nice to see you. I'm going to use that as a little... I could really go in more, I think. 
going to use that as a little um, page tab. And I don't know that I'm going to do much more than just stick all this stuff down. I just like the way it looked. I really kind of like this deer. But I don't know. I don't think I can find a spot for him to work. Maybe if I... Let me tear it here. See, this is one thing that I have to work on for my myself, for my, my art. I... Um, have a hard time tearing things apart, you know, because this is the total image. I know, Ange, you told me. Maybe you didn't see my response the other day. I guess I was in Murray's. Was it last night? What a great gift, huh? Very nice. So you're going to go there for your birthday? Hi, Dawn. Oh, very nice of you to come in and say hi. I appreciate that. Nice to meet you. Everyone say hi to Dawn. Do some of you know Dawn? You might know her from a different, from uh, some other streams. So I have to, to learn that it's okay to cut things apart. Hi, Marty. So let me, I just ripped... I just ripped this here image. So let's see if I see maybe if I offset it like that, it'll be a little better. So during my long nap today, I would wake up and move my, you know, change my position. I would think, ah, oh, what am I going to do tonight? What am I going to stream tonight? And I had some tea bags sitting and drying out. And uh, I thought I'd just mess around with those. See what we can come up with. So you guys might, I'm sure, have some good ideas. Some different things you do with tea bags. So that's where I'm headed. Tea bag land. Now a lot of ladies do um, a daily journal, like a daily December, and I am not consistent with that. And then I feel guilty and like a failure if I don't do something in my journal every day. So this is my not my every day journal. Oh, Mina, then you might have some good ideas. You have so many dried, but is she has so many dried tea bags to use one of these days. This is the day, Brenda. This is the day. I have a whole tub of them in this little tiny room of mine. I have a tub about that big around and it's about that deep can't find them saw them about three days ago can't find them no idea zippo so my husband he was making tea i guess this morning i said i want those tea bags is it okay and I had some on my desk that were drying. So I have some. Not as many as I should have. So I might have to be a little stingy. Because I didn't have a lot of time to look around and move stuff to find them. You save your tea bags too, Dawn? Wonderful. Tubbo tea bags. M I A, says Barbara. Yeah, and it's like a Christmas. It's got a little snowman on it. It's got a little red lid. I just I just saw it. I just saw it. All right. So I think that looks halfway decent, but it needs a little something, something. So I have this little um light bulb stamp. So I'm gonna stamp some of these around. Now I have another smaller one. 
that um, is open, but this one's solid, I believe. So let me just say, just want to do a little something else to this page. Okay. The one says she dyes hers with ink. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't seen that done before. I would think that, oh yeah, this is good. So let's pop some of these light bulbs. I'm gonna go all different ways. Pop some of these light bulbs around my page. I know a lot of people are probably way over Christmas. Uh, I could really do Christmas all the time. Really and truly. But I just wanted to use this paper. Hmm, that didn't stamp so great. There we go. That's more better. <laughs> w uh, W Y D. What are you doing? Yeah, like a lot of people say, and it's really true. If if you don't know what something is, ask because nine times out of ten, there's definitely at least one other person wondering the same thing, right? Do, 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 do. Of course, I'm still singing Christmas, too. I'll try to just control my seals. Now I got these little tags. Look, let it snow. I don't know if she'd want me to tell who I got these from, so I'm not going to say anything. Somebody in our community. Look how adorable. The first Noel. And then I have away in a manger. Oh, I want to put at least one of these on this page. Mm, I think I want another piece of ribbon, though. Maybe a piece of ribbon. Let's see if I can grab something that's... Uh, I want to grab something flat. Oh, here's some gold. Silver and gold. I got a pin in here. All right, I'm just going to fold this. I think this has got a little wire in the edges of this. Oh, yeah, how about that? I don't know that I ever really noticed that before. All right, I'm going to snip a little piece of this off. Straighten up that other edge. I'm going to see if I can scoot that. No, oh, I might need my... Let me get my handy little tweezers. Yeah, my sisters and I say, whatcha, whatcha doing? So it's kind of like one word. Oh, I feel like a surgeon pulling that out. I feel like I'm pulling out a splinter. Or something. Hi, Paul Reynolds. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in. Welcome, welcome. All right, I frayed my edge there, but that's okay. That is okay. I've had these nail dashes on for, it has to be at least four weeks. I had to replace this one and this one. This one, because um, it was on so long, it finally popped off. But this one, because I got glue or something on the edge. And I had to 
dilly of a time get i mean i i put on a lot of glue so they stay on because i use my hands so much you know and i'm all i'm all in like wet and paint and gooey you know but i'm loving this color this one's one of my favorites ruby i don't usually do like frosty uh like a frosted kind of color but i do like it this particular shade oh thank you marty marty put in Rob paul's channel we'll have to check that out all right so i'm just going to take this little strip and i'm going to fold it in half like that and where are my where is is my not are my i'm going to just add this to the top of my page with my tiny attacher and then i'm going to pin on my little i'm going to pin on one of my cute little oh paul has a question um, i didn't see paul's question let me see if i can go back and find it i'm terrible at going back is this a junk journal? Yeah, you could call it a junk journal, Paul. What I did was um, a lot of ladies in this art community have what we call a daily, like a daily December journal or so you're, you, you art journal, mostly art journal in it every day, but you can also, you know, write, do it like a regular journal. But for me, that causes me some anxieties because I never do something every day. So I'm calling this my not my everyday journal. And I just took a little book and went through one day and treated the pages with some watercolor or there probably is some acrylic paint in here too. And... Um, and then I go through and whatever I want, I do a page. So I just started this. I think it was probably, let's see, did I date the first page? Yes, I started it December 1st. So now instead of being done with this in a couple of days, I'm just going to keep working through it willy nilly. Or, you know, if I find it on my desk, a lot of times it gets buried. All right, so today is 12, 26, 22. See, with those pages already treated, I just have to pop it open and, um, you know, just add a little something. <clears throat> Pulse is amazing. Oh, my gosh. I will have a second sketchbook tour video on the 2nd of January. Oh, cool. And mostly... I don't know what that is. Chibi drawings, art crayons, and Picasso style art. Well, that sounds cool. So that's the warm up for tonight. So I added my little, little dangly there. And that's, you know, that's enough, right, for today. So then I've got all these other things I can work on another time. So now I'm going to get out the tea bags and see where we might end up now a while ago i'd done a, a live and i was working on oh it's not paul it's raw i'm so sorry thank you for the correction barbara raw boy that's hard for me to say raw reynolds so sorry so so sorry <clears throat> so <clears throat> Natasha from Treasure Books, another channel on YouTube, she had taken tea bags and put down some images on a piece of plastic. Raul, thank you, Janice. I know I didn't know how to say it. I just, it wasn't coming to me. Thank you so much. 
Okay, so the chibi, I'm probably saying that wrong too. But drawings are cute drawings, more like cartoons. Cool. <clears throat> so I made a few of these, again, with some wrapping paper that I had left over, not left over, that I got on a gift uh, yesterday. So I made these cute little, and now this, with these, um, when Natasha did hers, and the other ones that I did, I used Golden Matte Medium, as did she, I believe. She, maybe she used, she could have used Mod Podge. I don't really remember. My other ones, I used Golden Matte. Today, I used Elmer's Glue All. And I just did these a little while ago. So I can use those somewhere. So what you do is you put down a little image. Say like this reindeer. I'm just going to show you one real quick. I'm going to pull these off. Oh, I love vintage too. Ooh. I love it. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> so you take a little image and you might have a Timmy image. You might have a little picture from a magazine. You might have something that you drew. You know, it doesn't have to be little. It can be big. But the idea is, is that you put a tea bag over top. Well, you know what? Let me back up just a little bit, especially for people that maybe um re-watching re replaying and watching and then maybe they maybe there is some i don't want to assume maybe there's somebody out there who's never saved a tea bag maybe there's somebody who doesn't drink tea i know shocking right but what you want to do basically is take your tea bags after you've made your tea and then let them really dry well. Now, Barbara, who's here with us, Barbara Chicken Pot Pie Society, and I probably some other girls too, have used these <clears throat> tea leaves inside to make your homemade paper. Okay. Let me caution you and say, let the tea inside dry very, very well. Because I had some I thought was dry. Put it in a little container and they all molded over. So if you've never done this before, now these are still a little damp. I did hit them with my heat gun a little and I'll hit them more in a minute. But what you want to do is just open the bag and pour out your tea. And you can open it any way that you like might depend on your project right so now we have an empty tea bag i'm going to do a couple more and now when i hit this with my heat gun they'll dry up very quickly and then we can do some other things with them i don't really have coffee filters anymore uh, that i actually use I have coffee filters for art, but I haven't really done anything with those in a long time. But very good point, Marty. Save save all this stuff. I mean, there for a while, my husband was like, what are we saving this week? <laughs> but right, who said, I can't, Brenda said, I can't throw them away. Especially once you start using them, if you're an, an artist or you like to um, art journal, or even crafts. I mean, come on. Once you get using these things, they're just really terrific. Now, I my one sister did save me a couple of large ones. So if you can get your, hi, Sherry. If you can get your hands on the large ones, oh, man, they're really cool to have to have the big ones. So let me just empty a few more. I can always empty some more of these if I want because I still have a couple. But most of them um, that I have are this size. Now, these happen to be tea bags that have no tabs. So that's a little disappointing. But there are some, you know, that you might have that do have, you know, your little tea tag and your string. Don't throw that out either. We're going to use that too. Okay. So... If you're into making paper, I mean, there may. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Nice to see you. If you're into making paper, you may want to say save these uh, tea leaves. Um, I think some say they're good for your plants too. 
of course you wouldn't have to dry them out then but if you're going to save these to make paper make sure they're really really dry like i said mine i i would have bet money that my tea leaves were dry i put them in a little jar and they got all moldy so i had to toss all those it, it was a little gross so make sure they're super super dry before you put them in a container and cover them up okay unless you're going to use them right away then of course i guess it doesn't really matter right hi marty i did say hi marty but maybe you didn't see me or maybe I, I, you've been in a little while right marty oh gosh i hope i'm not missing anybody else I got, oh, there's Gail. Hi, Gail. Nice to see everyone tonight. Okay. So back to uh, Treasure Books and Natasha. So if you have a little image, I'm going to use this little piece of um, wrapping paper as a sample. Now, like I said, I used Elmer's glue all this last time earlier this evening. Let me see if I can find mine. Yeah, I think there's still some in here. Because I was messing around with it earlier. So what you want to do is you can take um, Golden Matte Medium. You can take Elmer's Glue All. You can, now I'm not sure about the um, Soft Gel Medium, but I'm, I'm assuming you can use that too. Um, but I have a lot of the Elmer's glue all, so that's what I'm using here. And then you take a tea bag, one or two. Now this, I'm not going to dry this up real right now because I'm going to wet it again. And this is going to be in pieces because my image is a little larger. I'm sorry, I know you got a glare right there. So I'm going to put this tea bag over top and try to just make this really uh, vintage -y looking and old and now you can overlap if you have a larger one of those larger tea bags of course you don't have to overlap <clears throat> you just do it you know how you want now you want to make sure you're on a plastic surface this is just one of those little plastic bags that uh, maybe a a product will come in like packaging i'm going to put another little piece over here but if you have uh, waxed paper should work hey judy hello hello wax paper should work or just some freezer paper something that you know you can peel glue up off of would work saran wrap and then what you end up with is once they dry, a really cool ephemera type image. All right, so these are bits of wrapping paper from my other sister. I cut the little particles out. Ice skating. Hot cuckoo. All right, so that's how you do it. And once this video <clears throat> uploads, I'll put in my description box. Uh, I'll go in and I'll look for Natasha's video where, where she makes these. Okay. <clears throat> Sherry said she has seen someone use Mod Podge on a tea bag and it was almost clear, see through. Yeah. We're going to do a couple of things here, see how it see how it looks. I probably should save the other half of this. Let's try. Let's try something. I have a couple ideas. Um, but, you know, as you get working and crafting, you know, things pop into your head. If you girls want me to try something, and gentlemen, I forgot that Clint and Raul are here. Um, just shout it out. Put it in caps so I see it. Thank you, Barbara. Barbara's very encouraging. So what do you what do you say we stamp on the tea bag? These are just little bits. Now these are still a little damp, so I'm going to hit them with my heat gun. So heat gun, heat gun alert. You can stamp images. You can stamp words. You know whatever you want. You have a particular project you want to use one of these bad boys in. 
Go for it. Go for it. Oh, I can sing happy birthday to Ange tonight because I'm not going to be on tomorrow. And if she's in another chat room tomorrow somewhere, she won't hear me singing. Ange, are you here? There she is. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Angie Marie. Happy birthday to you. Well, Mina, I was going to ask that question and I was going to try that because uh, I've used acrylic, but I haven't tried watercolor. And then Dawn, if she, Dawn's still here, she said she uses inks. So we're, we might just, we might just, if I have enough tea bags, my gosh, I cannot believe I can't find my tub. We're going to try a few things. So I don't want to get carried away with one particular thing. Dawn's still here. Okay, great. Dawn, I might need you if you can hang around uh, because I'm not quite sure how you use your ink on them. But I'm going to see if I can use my ink. Okay. So I'm going to take a tea bag and I'm going to get out all this. Oh, have a, have a, have a blue. Annette, is Annette here? There she is. Hi, Annette. Um, he's just a little, um, you know, mouse pad. Little Elvis there. So I've got my tea bag. And I'm going to get out some black ink. This is, oh, that's distressed. Let's see if I can find my archival one. Which probably is not where it's supposed to be. And the reason I'm wanting to use the archival is just be, oh, here it is. Very fun. Very fun. Very fun. I think this is juicier. So I think I'm going to use that one. And let me just grab something kind of small. Okay. All right, this is a um, part, this is a Timmy stamp. I'm gonna sneeze. Excuse me. Oh, she uses this dress spray stains, or smush my ink and use a brush to tab it to dab it randomly. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, it didn't come out, Ange. All right, so I'm just going to get as much of this stamp on this. Look, actually, I want to do two because I want to see how it looks. All right, so I'm just going to ink up this stamp. This is pretty juicy. And if I get a partial image, a whole image, I'm good with it. So we're just going to give that a little, a little press, a little press a Rooney. Now that I'm sorry by itself is, is darling. Okay. So I'll show you in a minute. I'll get a journal page, a journal that I'm working on. Let's do another one. Let's do a different one. I can't get the song out of my head. Hmm. This one's different. I think this is, um, this might be like a Dina Wakely or something. What to do the side by side on this one. Now, the reason I like to put it on a mouse pad, if I have a mouse pad, hi, Devin, is because it gives me a little bit of a cushion. See, so that looks cute too, right? So you can use it just like that. So say I have, 
uh, let me pull out my, this is the journal that I'm working in. So <clears throat> just, I'm just going to take a random page and I'm not ready to glue this down yet. I might be later today, but not right this second. So, you know, say I'm going to use this. I can do the same thing. I can take my um, golden matte medium and glue that on. Or I could use my glue stick and put that down on a page and then add to it. But it looks, you know, it looks cute. So I'm going to put this one aside. Now this one, I'm going to... Mm -mm. Use my sheet of plastic. Where did it go? Here it is. And I'm going to use some of that glue that I used earlier. And glue on top of this and see how it looks. Sherry said she saw someone just put Mod Podge on top of a tea bag. And it looked almost see-through. And that intrigues me. I have a piece of stuff. I don't know what else to call it, but stuff. And it's big. It's it's much too big for a tea bag. But they put some kind of medium on it and it kind of looks crunchy and plasticky. And I'm wondering if that's how they did it by just painting. Now I'm gonna sit this up on my laptop keyboard because some heat comes out of that and this should dry fairly quickly so i'm going to see how that does so we're going to set this one aside let's see there's an etsy shop that sells tea bag paper sheets really lisa the name is B Divine Vintage. Oh, that sounds yummy. If one of the mods can find that link, that would be nice. <clears throat> All right, so let's put this one up here out of the way. All right, now. Beings I have this one that I've already stamped, you could also build a cluster. You know how we build clusters and we usually build them on a little piece of paper or maybe a piece of fabric. Why not build one on a tea bag? Right? So let's see. Let's see if we can do that. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. See, some of the tea bags where they're sealed together, you get that little ridgy, ridgy. You, you might want to take that off. It, it may or may not bother you. I, I didn't really think about that. So I'm going to plug in my, no, I'm lying to you. I'm going to turn it on because it's already plugged in, my hot glue gun. And then I'm just going to start taking a couple of pieces of some stuff I have sitting here next to me. I'm going to take a little snippet of lace. A little snippet of lace here. That one's kind of crooked. That's a little crooked. I'm going to take a little piece of, thank you, Barbara, cheesecloth. <clears throat> oh, I got something for Christmas. I should... Oh, what did I, did I bring that out here? Oh, I might have to go get it. I had some stuff in my Amazon wish list. My daughter and her family got some things for me that I wished, that I wished for. So, say you have a little piece of this, and I don't really need the whole thing. So, I'm going to take and pull my edge off. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the term building a cluster, what it is is just basically ta take wishes do come true. They do. You're, you're, you're putting a song in my head, Devin. I can't remember the words. 
So if I just want to make this a little smaller now, like um, was it Janice said, it, but it's so pretty. Why cover it up? Well, you don't have to, but you could do. We could do a little bit in the corner. See, I didn't ink there. So not that I intended it to be that way, but that's the way it ended up coming out. Right. Oh, uh, Lisa said it's also called pulley paper and it's sold in rolls. I'm thinking of the one that goes, the dream is a wish. Da, da, da. Dee, 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 dee. You know, like that one. Dee, 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 dee. I'm sure Barbara knows the words. So I'm going to build a little bit right on the corner here, right on the corner. So I'm going to take this little bit of lace, which is really kind of, you know, whitey, whitey, tidy whitey there. And I'm going to take a little bit of that cheesecloth. And I'm just going to take my tiny attacher on this one. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's also take a little bit of this. Let's take the tea tag. And let's add that. So we still see quite a bit of the image. Do we not? We do. So now I have a little cluster. And all I have to do is glue that in, a, in on a page. So let's see. What do I have sitting here? All right, this is the book. This is the journal I've been working on. Let me see what I got in here. I don't know. I haven't looked at this. I haven't looked at this one in a little while. So we were working on this cover. Oh, okay. It's not put together. But that's all right. Look at these pages. Look, this could use this could use a little something, something. Right? So I'm going to just attach this to this page. And I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, glue stick because that's right here and it's handy. <clears throat> and I'm just going to add my glue. Now this is, of course, it's purple till it dries. This glue stick will dry clear. The only thing you have to be careful of is um, if you're going to put or think you're going to put any kind of wet medium on top of what you stamp on, you want to make sure you use a an ink that can handle it and it's not going to run. We don't want no running. No running. What did Lori do with her? I think I threw it out. My desk gets so dirty. So I'm always using a baby wipe for clean up. Clean up on how to. Let me just show you this. Now I can do other things to this page. You know, as I come back to this journal. But it's, I mean, it to me it's cute. So that's an addition to that. Okay, now let's grab another one. And let's grab hmm, just thinking what's easiest for me to grab right this second. I have clean water out. Yeah, just asking about what purchase in a gift card. <clears throat> All right. Let's paint something on this one. Let's just do maybe a couple little flowers. So let's grab a little bit of purple. This one is called Passion. And it's a ceram coat color. 
And oh my gosh, I wonder if you could jelly print on them. Look at my dirty little jelly print. My little jelly um, plate. Devin, do you know? It's the first time for everybody, and it doesn't have to do with being smart or not being smart. It's a it's a learning curve. That's all, baby. Just a learning curve. You think so, channels? Maybe, maybe. I might have to go get my little. Uh, okay, let's use. I'm going to try a number. Let me see. I should have a little jar or a little empty vessel sitting right here. So I don't have to get up and go into the kitchen. Into the kitchen. Do, 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 do. You know what? I'm just going to use my little, my little jar here. All right. So let's just see if I can make a couple little petals. Uh, can you see what I'm doing? Let me bring my camera down a little, a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to press and pull, I think. Press and, well, maybe I want them the other way. Mm -mm. Hmm. All right. I should have a little dot <clears throat> in the center, but this is just, you know, being silly. We're just seeing. So I'm just going to press and pull some little petals. Now, if you go online and look up tea bag art, I know you can find um, tea bags that people have painted on, like whole scenes. You got to make sure you have enough paint on your little brush because it really uh it's not a it's not a um slippery surface your my brush is kind of pulling there's no there's no drag there's no drag no glide if you know what i mean Now, I was thinking about a paper punch, you know, punching out different uh, shapes, if you want, with the tea bag. And that might be hard to do unless you um, maybe put another piece of paper behind your tea bag. That flower is really wonky. This petal is really out of, out of bounds. Let's see if we can change this a little bit just make them bigger Woo! those things you can paint over yeah like lisa said there's some awesome tea bag art out there this however is not one just saying. But I'm just winging it. I'm winging. <laughs> All right. So we've got that. And let's get a little green. And we'll put some stems. And then let's get a little something else to put for a center. Let's just see. Oh, I've got an idea. Okay. Let's do that. Got, I've got another idea. All right, so let's get this green. We're just going to do a little stems. 
Let's put on some leaves. Oh, look. So be careful what you're painting on because, duh, it's going to come through. It's a tea bag. Right? I didn't think about that. Let's get my little baby wipe and we'll clean that up. Okay. And then let's get a little uh, maybe a little blue, a little light blue. What do I have here? Shoreline. This is called Shoreline. And this is uh, Shoreline is Deco Art. And I'm going to grab a daughter, a little daughter. And I'm just going to put some a few little dots in the center to make a center for my flower. Boy, this is going downhill quick, kids. Woo! I don't want what's bleeding through to get back on my tea bag. Probably would have been wise to dry it in between covers. They weave tea bags? Oh my goodness. Oh my word. Oh my word. All right, let's put the blue back. And I think this looks like it needs a little help, so I'm going to spatter. Oh, oh my goodness, that's really dried up, that one. Let's get a little, let's get a little spatter. Okay, just a little bit of white. Trying to put everything back in its little home so when I go looking for it later. I test usually on the back of my hand. Love boat. All right. Think me's think me's gonna need a little uh, heat gun on that. Let's uh, get that daughter again. I'm gonna put a little dot of purple in the center of my center. See if that makes it look a little better. Okay, heat gun. Oh, thank you, Brenda. Dry bones, dry bones, dry bones. Now, where did I put my little, it's probably over there somewhere. Over there, over there. Where the yikes are coming, the yikes are coming. The yikes are coming over there. Do, do, do. I'm rooting. I'm rooting through my. Uh, I guess I should go in the, in the drawer. I was just going to see how this looks on a page. I have my little dungaree journal that I think that might look cute on one of those pages. 
if I can get my hands on it. Oh, here it is. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. Let's see what page I can put this on. Hmm. Well, this might be good. I think I'm going to tear off a little bit of this. Taking those little ridgy ridges off. And uh, still kind of a little bit of a wonky shape, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to glue that down there. And I'm just going to, again, use my glue stick because it's easy. Normally, I probably wouldn't use the glue stick. I would probably get out my um, golden matte medium. Now, of course, this page isn't done, but you know how it is. Sometimes you just, you're working on something or you see something on your desk and one of your journals pops in mind or a project. You think, oh, that would look cute on that. Get it out and stick it down. So I just added that little one to the page. Cool, right? Like it. I like it. I'm liking it. All right. Baby wipe. Baby wipe. Okay. Now, what did I do with? Oh, no, Lori. Stuck and okay. That guy's not dry yet. Thank you, Devin. Let's see if I can get that to dry. All right. I've got this little tiny jelly plate here. Because I whacked my big one, whacked it into different sections. So this is one of my sections. And I bought the little, um, it's like a little serving dish for uh, hors d'oeuvres or something that I got at, you know, Goodwill. So I can just leave, leave it on there if I want. Now, I'm really not good at cleaning them. So you can see this is it's kind of grimy. So I'm going to take my uh, baby wipe, give it a little, get a little uh, sprucing up here, and let's see. It's just a little image. So let me get my little. I mean, a little um area you know let me get one of my little roly rollies hi candy candy i love my little ornament you sent me thank you so very much okay uh, i'm going to use that shoreline again because it's bright I'm just going to put a little bit on. I'm really, really not good at jelly printing. But this, I feel, I hear my phone. I hear my phone buzz, buzz, buzzing. Now I need something I can imprint in here. Let me see if I can grab something. I should have got it out before I uh, usually I have a piece of um, bubble wrap right here, but not today. Let's 
when all else fails. Doesn't look so great. No, it looks like little bubbles. Tiny bubbles. This is way bigger of an area than I need. I'm just going to do a little tea bag. I want something a little smaller. Look, see, nothing is sacred. Putting that down, and I'm going to put my... What are we talking about? Spirited with Farrell and Ryan, it was fun based on, oh yeah, it's got to be Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, I would think, because those two have all kinds of ads together. Now, if it doesn't tear, it might be okay. <gasps> Look, I left the little ridges of the tea bag. That's kind of cool. Really kind of cool. See, so now this, I think I could pick that up on another piece of paper, which I'm thinking I might like to do that. Maybe on a little, hmm, would it be nice if I had a little envelope handy? Where's those envelopes? Peggy sent me envelopes, and I had them stashed over here. If I can find one. See, now this is what I don't know. Oh, look, I've got this little book. I could put it in here. See, now, Devin, if I wanted to pick that up, see, this is what I don't know. Okay, so it's light blue. What color could I put on top of that? To be able to pick that up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I found this little book. Put gold over it after the blue dries. Gold? All right. I can do that. I've got a little gold right here. Devin says a dark color. A darker blue, says Lisa. Or bronze would look good. This says vintage brass. Feels dry. Ding, ding, ding. Janice is any color. All right. I don't want this to lead me into a direction I don't want to go this evening. So I have a nice sweater on. I don't really shouldn't even be using paint. Shouldn't be using paint. Candy said white. Okay. I did the I did the um, vintage brass I can see the ridges a little bit I mean it looks cool but you can't really see it Okay, let's try, um, did I just whack the camera? Heavens. Let's try a little of this purple and a little of the blue. See, this is the problem. It 
this is definitely the problem. The navy would have looked cool. I think you're right. I think you are right, Lisa. So guess what we're going to do? I love blue and purple mixed together. I love circles. I just love circles. Look, I have this stamp here. That's really not doing much for me. Look, I have this little Christmas tree. See, nothing. Nothing is safe in the art room. All right, now I'm going to let that dry. And this is all I'm doing when it comes to the jelly plate. And I'm going to put it aside because this can be a very deep rabbit hole for sure. Put that away. While we're waiting for it to dry, put that up there. That doesn't. That doesn't help. One week, no doctors. That sounds like heaven on earth. You girls are dealing with so much. Some of you. All right, so that looks like it's drying up pretty good. All right, so now let me grab. Oh, my goodness, avalanche. I moved my, that was silly. I moved my painting wheel. And it all came tumbling down. I'm looking for a Pacific color. Pacific. I don't think it's that back in there. Oh, that's sad. The navy blue really isn't all that navy. So Janet's doing better. She's been resting. Okay, Barbara's off to do her duties. Sorry, Ange. Barbara, have a good evening. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of this on, and this is called Navy. Now, why on earth I put my wheelie thing back, I've no idea. I do like that little, I do like the little, Mary was using a round one the other day. I didn't catch the whole thing, and then I fell asleep. I fell asleep. Let me find something um, yellow. Something yellow. They call me mo yellow. Okay, let's give it a nice press. Give it a nice this is the other thing if you haven't done this yet get one of these little tiny composition books and just take a little bit of time and go in and treat your pages eh, I just can't jelly plate okay you, there, you just, you know what? You can't do it. You can't do everything. That's like a big blob of nothing. Big blob of nothing, nothing. Yeah. There it is. 
But the tea bag, I do like this. Now I could do something else on top of that, right? Okay. I don't know if I'll be able to pull any of this up just to clean the plate a little. Let's see. Yeah, it's too dry. Too dry. Dry bone, dry bone. I really should clean this off. I just want to clean up the the plate before I put it under the store, my storage spot. All right, so next I'm going to get out a little bit of watercolor. Don't feel bad, Lori. I'm a printmaker and don't do... <laughs> Thank you for the encouragement, Candy. I appreciate that. Oh, gosh, I feel like such a loser with this jelly plate. I mean, some of the stuff, I mean, especially Devin. Devin's, Devin's to me... Everybody has their own taste, right? But to me, Devin Rex for art, who's in here tonight, and Lisa, my eclectic life. Oh my gosh, those girls are my two favorite jelly printers. They do awesome stuff. Uh, Kathy Berg's pretty good. But I love Devin's stuff and uh, Lisa's stuff. I uh, cleaned the plate up pretty good. Not, not too terribly bad. Better than it was. All right. So I'm going to pull out another baby wipe. And I'm going to try to clean up my area here. This baby wipe, I think, has about had it. So I'm going to use one on my hands. And then on my surface. Oh my goodness. It doesn't take much to get. Oh, rosemary. See, I don't know if I've ever seen rosemary. I'll have to check that out. I mean, I've seen rosemary. I don't know that I've ever seen her jelly print. Yeah, I would think her stuff would be cool too. Okay. So I'm going to grab a little, a little box of my ink tents. The uh, watercolors. And I'm grabbing them because once they dry, they're permanent. Permanent too. Hi, Pam. And I will grab another tea bag. And then I want to grab a watercolor brush. Where did Lori put the watercolor brushes? There they are. Paper towel. Got to wet my brush. Where's my spritzer? I just had my spritzer earlier too. Come out, come out. To wherever you are. Now I'm anxious to see how once I hit this with watercolor, how it moves. I'm just going to spray on a couple of these. Um, let me do a little of this green. Now this is the dry tea bag. It's not moving. Let's spritz it with some water. Yeah, see how much I I Everybody's got their own personal preference. I mean, everybody does pretty good, you know. 
Oh, Pam's out on the road. Well, be careful, Pam. And, um, you know, a lot of people do really great stuff. I'm just saying for my particular taste, for the people that I watch, they're my, my favorites. Okay. It'd be better if I laid this on a paper towel. You're um, are you going to uh, visit your hubby, right, Pam? Is that where you're headed, or you already did that and you're headed home? All right, I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna see if I can make this like a little tree. This is intense. Derwent intense, a little travel, little travel um, set. Just because if I want to do anything on top at some point, you know, once they dry, let's put a little glue. I'm going to spray this corner. Oh, oh, this is moving your door. Okay, gotcha. I forgot you did say that. You're a good mama, Pam. Good mama. Good mama. Okay, I'm just painting on some blue. I really, really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of fussing around with it. I've never <clears throat> used watercolor on a tea bag. And I'll put a little, maybe a little deeper brown down here. I'm going to hit that with a heat gun. Let's see what it looks like. Since says I'm seeing my husband next month. I'll be flying to visit him. Oh, wonderful. Okay, great. I knew you had plans to, but must be a lot of that color because the tea bags are porous, went right through into the paper too. That's kind of cool. I have a little extra there. Extra, extra, read all about it. Now, I'm thinking. Once you do something like that, why couldn't we doodle? We could, we should be able to doodle, right? So let me see if I have, I do, let's hope it writes, a Sharpie pen. Now I think I want, this is a silicone mat, so I'm not sure I want to write right on that. Oh, gesso then paint. Oh, Janice, I didn't think about the gesso. Yes, then not as porous. Janice. Good thinking. Okay, so this is dry. So I'm just going to do some silly. I'm just going to do some silly lines here. Make this kind of look like a tree trunk. I'm just going to whoop, 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 Make little squirrely gorlies in my tree. Make little hills. Can you even see what I'm doing? Just silly stuff.
Okay, Ange, put a couple of little birds in the sky. We get the idea. And you could pin, you could glue that in a little journal. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right, let's check this little guy, see if he's dry. Hmm. Here he is. Oh, this is cool. This is the one we stamped earlier. I used uh, an archival stamp ink pad and stamped the design on the tea bag and then painted this is Elmer's glue all. And I put it on a piece of plastic. So that's kind of cool. But the back side, look how shiny. And of course, you can see through it. So that's kind of cool, I think. Now, Dawn said that she used sprays like Timmy sprays. Now, this, this ought to be quite messy. Thanks, Candy. Yeah, I think it's cool. So now I'm wondering is we had this jelly printed one, right? Try to paint on this one, Janice. Give me some more instructions, like on the glossy side or on this the side that I put the glue on. I'll wait for you to give me more instructions and then tell me a uh, watercolor paint or would you like to see? Okay. So she, I asked too many questions. She said, yes. So I think she means the shiny side and um, maybe the watercolor paints, the back side. Okay. Let's um, get a smaller brush here. Just a little watercolor. Okay. And I'm going to use this little ready orange. It did though, sure. The paint's sticking to it. So there's the paint on the shiny side. Okay, so there's one on the shiny side. And then here, let's do some on the matte side. Cool either way. Yeah, I think so too. I wonder if I blot that like you know when you put your lipstick on. I'm very heavy handed with watercolor. That's another flaw. It might have stuck because it's intense. I don't know. Let's just see. No, because I, it's dry. I didn't. I didn't wet the tea bag. Just my brush with the uh, paint. So now let's do. Um, what have I got? 
What have I got in my magic drawer? Let's see what I've got in my magic drawer. Let's use a little Jane Davenport, shall we? Janie? Little Jane Davenport? I used a tea bag, stamped it with an archival ink candy, and then uh, painted on Elmer's glue all. All right, so this is just regular uh, watercolor, Jane Davenport. Let's do uh, let's do this color here, and this is the matte side here. Again, again, Lori, too much paint. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which again looks cool. And then if I stamp darker, I think it would even be better because then the darker line, the darkener, the darker um, images would come through the uh, watercolor. Now I'm going to do the. Uh, the shiny side and that seems to be sticking as well now I might be able to rub it off after it's dry but it went on very nicely so there's a shiny side true candy we we'll go over the lines with sharpie redoodle Redoodle for sure. But I think, I mean, that's worth a go, right? I think that's cute. Very cute. Now, this is the jelly plate printed one. Let's see. Let me get a, um, I'm going to put a flur. I'm going to put a flur on here. Thanks, Candy. Thanks, Janice. Thank you, Brenda. Let's see. Okay, let's do this flower. All right, so now this again is an archival ink, Versafine. I believe that's a, you know, permanent ink. And just eating sausage. So now this is on the stamped, uh, the um, jelly printed piece that we did. Now I'm going to use, this has not been treated, it's just tea bag and paint. Doesn't have any um, glue or anything on it, you know. And I'm going to try to be light handed with this watercolor this blue and just put a little I didn't wait long enough some of that black's coming up I think me thinks I went through but you really I can't really see it on the front side not curious Strawberries, that sounds yummy. I could go for a strawberry. I think that's still wet there. So now I'm thinking, I wonder what embossing powder will look like. Has anybody ever uh, embossed? Celery stock with peanut butter. That's what um, that's what Murray's been hooked on lately. 
<laughs> and she's sick of food. So, you know, that watercolor didn't really seem like it did anything. All right, so now I'm trying to think if I put, let me set these two aside, because that's pretty much a dud, other than the uh, jelly print. To me, that's pretty much a dud. And I'm trying to be conservative because I don't have too many tea bags left that I know where, where they are. Okay. I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to grab my embossing powders. And I have embossing pens. Oh. Oh my goodness, girls, I just find my tub of tea bags. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, no, I don't know if I can get them. I know I just saw them. Oh, it's not full, but. goes wild. Da, 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 da. Okay. So I've got an embossing pen and I'm going to use my salvaged patina. And I'm going to put this back under there. Storage. And the stack just keeps on getting higher. All right. Here we go. If I can get the cap off. Oh. I'm just going to do this flower. See, this is going to dry fast, isn't it? Because it's a tea bag. Well, maybe not. I don't think my embossing pen is that juicy. All right, let's see if any of that stuck. It did. Now I'm going to put my powder back in my jar. My one sister got me three new colors of embossing powder for Christmas. The picked, picked raspberry, some kind of purple, a purple one, and uh, wild honey. <laughs> Angie's the country girl. She talks funny. Oh, see, Lori can't get these screwed on right. I'm a struggle. I'm a struggle. All right, let's put that there. Getting the heat gun. Starting that heat gun up. And try not to melt my nail. Well, why don't you hold it up? I don't know if that's clear for you girls to see. Oh boy. I don't know if Clint and Raul are still here. Oh boy, that didn't take long. That did not take long. Hey, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool, huh?
Nice. I like that. I like it. I like it. Okay, so what I also wanted to do is because uh, Dawn said she uses the spray inks. Oh, I'm really parched. I'm very parched today, girls. We should do a line up here. Got that guy. We've got this one with the watercolor and the doodles. The stamp. Stamp a ramper. And then I've got these where I've got the images. You know, this is wrapping paper with the tea bag on top. Okay, so let's get, uh, I want to move these up so I don't get them loused up. I'm really kind of liking that doodle. Nothing like admiring your own work. Because, hey, nobody else is going to. Uh. Okay. Um, what sprays do I have that I can grab very quickly without having to climb every mountain? we got a big pile of jasmatas over there. Let's see. Where do I have my... I've got some acrylic ink, uh, but you could use a brush. But I also have a lot of Timmy, um, Timmy sprays. I've got some of those Lindy ones. I just don't know if I can grab them. I just didn't know. Let's see. Okay, if you hear a crash, it might be me. <laughs> okay, on the stretch. And see, I don't think I have any tinny ones in there. I really wanted to try the tinny But, let's see. Oh. I just don't have a long enough form. Uh oh. Except doing something. Except doing some. Oh, I've got some of that tattered. Let's see what's in here. These colors aren't going to be great, girls. But I wasn't thinking about using these, so Yvonne, I'm not prepared. I'm just not prepared. I'm so sorry, Uncle Albert. I'm so sorry. Oh, I forgot what I was going to do, that little flower one. I was going to put a little, a little gem in there. All right, so this is the Delusions. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had a bunch of them. That's white. Hopefully it'll spray. Here's a Timmy. It says London blue, but obviously I put something else in there because it's red. Just using the jug. Here's the lemon zest. See, I have a lot of these um these Lindy ones, but they're they're freaky, freaky colors. This is moon shadow mist. Oh, here we go. Here's a dirty martini. Oh, here's a Timmy. Rusty hinge. All right. So is um is Dawn still here? Dawn, could you come to the front of the classroom if you're still here, my dear? I have a question for you. Dawn says she sprays these on a tea bag. Right? But I'm wondering if she wets the tea bag first and then sprays so it moves. Actually, we could do it both ways. 
whether Dawn's here or not. Okay, so here's the tea bag that I took apart, one of the little ones, and it makes it's a tube. It's a big tube. So I'm gonna pull this one open. Okay. Let's cut this one in half. I saw a little thing come up. I guess it was on hmm, it might have been Instagram. You you all probably saw it. I don't know. I don't think it was Arlene that posted it because she posts a lot of funny stuff. But it said I just used my mother's fabric scissors on wrapping paper and now the police are here oh my gosh i i laughed so hard when i read that my husband said well that's true that's true so i'm wondering if you could spray this through a stencil you know probably would bleed right and not look that great of course i don't know where i put my oh here we go I'm going to grab a little stencil out of my Oh, this one's not the stencils. This is the stamp. I got to start marking some of these. I'm digging through where my avalanche occurred to get to my little storage journals. You deleted it so you don't see it. I think that's where it was, but I just thought that was clever. All right, let's see. Something small that has a little bit of a... Maybe this one, because it's, you know, it's got those little small... Openings. Now, I'm not uh, spraying. Spraying is an art in itself. I think. Just saying. All right. So I've got that little tea bag under there. This is dry, and I'm going to start. I think with my rusty hinge because I love it. Let me get these things out of the way. Put my little, put my water brushes back. Get my embossing pen out of the way. I like, I do like my smartphone, although I, I don't do very little with it. I play a couple games. I message back and forth with my sisters. I don't do a lot. There's a lot more I'm sure you can do. But you take this silly flower off my hand. I would leave it there if it looked really good, but it's not looking that great. Just saying. All right, I'm going to try to just spray very lightly. Oh. I don't want to move it till it dries. Okay, Janice. So let me get my heat gun. I don't want to melt my. I can mop that up on a piece of paper, a piece of a uh, piece of fabric. I think I just moved it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm like, geez, I didn't do anything. Look, the tea bag is stuck to the. That is kind of cool, though. Didn't really get too much of the inside.
even where the imprint didn't, it, you know, you can't see it, but kind of all bled together. Um, that looks cool. All right, let's take this bigger square. And um, I'm going to take my baby wipe and clean off some of that. I think I had my stencil upside down. I'm not sure if that would matter. It may as far as, you know, your success. I'm going to put it back down. I'm going to put it right down and write myself a letter. Now, see, I don't know why that popped in my head. All right, I'm going to move this little guy out of the way because I like him. I don't want him to get resprayed. Oh, there's another piece. Okay, cool beans. I'm going to try to just get a little bit of green um, on this one end. Now, I do clean these off before I put them away. It's not spraying. I'm pumping it, and it's just not spraying. It's just not spraying, governor. Give this guy another little... So much for the beautiful nails. So much. Boy, wouldn't it be great to have a piece of black paper handy? I'm going to sit right down. Here's that other thing I messed up earlier. And write myself a letter. Okay, like that. I did it again. Whoopsie. Yeah, you really can't tell the white. I've got some rust coming through. Let's try some mellow yellow. That's right. We'll try some mellow yellow. That's right. I got stuff everywhere. Let's put that there to kind of hide that. See if we can get it to spritzer. Yeah. Might have to get out the old tooth, not the toothbrush. Might have to get out the old, uh, an old paintbrush. Oh heavens, the Mercatroid. There's hardly anything in this one, but obviously I mixed something. Uh, I'm not good at marking, marking down what I did. All right, I want a little, this one's just a little flat, a little flat shader. Now, Dawn said something about using a paintbrush, so there we go, paintbrush. I'm going to use a little bit of yellow. I'm going to run some of that right into that red. And I'm hoping I'm on the tea bag. Because I really can't see really anymore. 
And then I'm going to let's get some of that. Let's grab some of that rusty hinge. I have some of the tattered angel stuff too. I don't know that you can get that anymore. So I think I'm going to spray some of that on there because I think all that stuff sprays pretty good. Whoops. Whoopsie. Your lips are so chapped. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's painful. Okay. Um, what was I gonna get? Oh yeah, the rusty, I mean the um some of the tattered angel stuff. This one is called Kiwi. We'll give it a good shake. Oh, it is. It's a sign of dehydration. All right, put some of that kiwi on there. Now I'm going to hit it very gently with my heat gun. My husband is a Sazerine because he's too cheap to buy the, I'm sorry, he's too frugal to buy the chapstick. I had a friend from church years ago when her, her daughter was young. She couldn't understand why you could use Vaseline on your butt and your lips. We laughed at that quite, for quite some time. Kids are amazing. Okay. So, I mean, really, it looks like you can use, this looks cool here, guys. I don't know if you can see it. Let me move my camera. Can you see that stuff there? I'm, I'm going to sop that up with something. Where's that piece of, little piece of fabric I just had? Oh, there it is. I'm going to sop it up with the fabric. It was like making all these crazy circles and then the frosty stuff around it. Frosted window pane. <laughs> Oh, yeah, some birds. I think like birds. How about some essential oil? Do you have any essential oils? This looks cool, guys. I think that looks really cool. And then you could doodle on top of that, stamp on top of that, right? This has a little bit of glitter in it from the... This looks so cool on my table. I don't know if the paper would pick that up. Oh, I never have any paper. How could this be? How could I not have any paper? All right, I'm going to do one more thing. I suggest one more thing to you. And then I'm going to skedaddle because Lori is really quite tired after yesterday. I don't know if this will pick up. Good girl, Marty. It's hard for me to drink a lot of liquids. I tend to drink when I'm thirsty, and I don't seem to be thirsty until... Oh, vitamin E stick. That's a good idea, too, Candy. Um, You know, you got to drink before you're thirsty, because they say once you're thirsty, eh, it's a little too late. Okay. This is probably one of my favorites of the evening. So what I what I'm going to suggest to you now is 
I can't go. See, when I took these little guys apart, see, it was a little tea bag like this. You know, this was folded over, folded down, and stapled. I looked at this and thought, why can't I use this as a pocket? Why can't I use that as a pocket? And then I was thinking I would have to glue them because I was thinking this would come apart pretty easily. But I mean, you really have to yank, you really kind of have to yank it. So then I was thinking if I glued this side down to be the pocket. I had a friend from church that did the same thing, Candy, and I just, I just did not, I have not gotten myself into that habit, but you, I think you're exactly right. You can condition yourself if you have it, you take the time and you're prepared and you have it with you, you'll drink it. And probably most of us could in drink, increase how much liquid we drink. So I'm thinking you could use it this way, right, as a pocket and have it uh, very narrow, make a little narrow tag or whatever you wanted to fill that with and glue it down. Now, of course, you'd have to put something in here as a barrier until your glue dried because, again, the tea bags are porous. So if I put glue back here and put that on my journal page, okay, let me just clean my hands one more time. And I don't want to get anything on the journal that I'm working on. Working, working, working. Bucky Ann's Creations. Hello, hello. Merry Christmas. Yes, wax paper would work. And that would scoop down in there pretty well, right? Okay, let's see. And Brenda says she carries her hydro jug. A half gallon. Wow. Everyone says it's your emotional support. <laughs> Bucky Ann, I forget. I forgot your name is Patty Ann. Welcome, welcome. I, I think I've met you once before, and I should remember, but I did not. And I apologize. Thanks for coming in. Do, do, do. I don't know if Barb Owen is going to be on tonight. Usually she comes on around 8. And I'd like to stay on a little longer on Monday nights. I just, um, I'm just, uh, I'm tired, girls. I'm tired from a long, long, fun day yesterday. <clears throat> okay. So say, oh, look, I got a mess up here. See, I don't want any, I don't want any extra jazz on my, on my book. I should put a piece of paper down, but I don't think I've got one handy. I could use maybe a piece of paper towel would be wise. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so just say you had a journal page, right? Just get this jazz and the taz out of the way. Put these guys over here. Okay, so I want to put a pocket here. Come on, come on, kids. Let's cooperate here with the host, right? Angie says, I'm tired, but I've got to get busy working on bowls. Send to Keisha. Yes, you do, my dear. Okay. 
So, I mean, I'm wondering, has anybody ever stitched on a, uh, a tea bag? Of course, if I stitched on this one, it'd make it even more narrow. But I was thinking if I stitched on the bottom and maybe up one side. Listen, I've got my sewing machine right here. I've got a cream colored thread in. I'm going to just do a regular stitch. See if I can get that to. Now, the trick here for me is to find my foot pedal because I'm a stacker. There it is. I got stuff stacked, stacked everywhere. All right, so let me put that down. Okay, I've got regular stitch, regular stitch. Let's see. I'm lying to you. It's going zigzaggy. Why is it? Oh, there we go. Okay. It really doesn't matter. It's just a sample. Really. Now, like I said, my sewing machine is not really behaving. Looks fine, girls. Looks just fine and dandy. Now we could stamp on this. Right? Where's my, um, let's get that out. See, I've got a lot of these. I used that earlier. I'm going to use the opposite end. Let me ink this up. I'm running out of places to pop things for a moment. I don't want to mess up my paper towel either. What's Janice say? I've watched others stitch on them all the time. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Natasha Chick. Natasha is amazing. She does a lot of really, she does a lot of really cool stuff. Okay. So let me ink a dink. I'm going to ink a dink -a here. Let's put a little ink on the floor. I'm probably that Marty Broad. Yeah, you girls. I just love you girls. Let's give a nice little press. I know I'm broad. Just saying. Now you could do anything you want to this. Stitch it, stamp it, paint it. As we've discovered all evening, we've got a host of things we can do. Do, 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 do. Oh, I cannot get that out of my head. Hi, Janet. Good evening. Good evening. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Where's my O? Oh. I'm going to have this. I'm going to have this all over. I'm putting some script behind here. And I got a little long down there. I don't want that. Yeah. All right. So this you could use it as, as a pocket. I'm almost certain. I haven't tried it. But I think. I think you could. I think you could. Oh, wait a minute. I want to soak up all my ink on my paper towel. So you could add that and make it a little pocket. Just glue it down. Now, if you didn't have your pages in your book, you could stitch it down. Okay. That would be cool as well. And then the last thing I was thinking as far as a pocket was 
if you just had these skinny ones and you wanted a wider pocket take it apart and this this little edge is really kind of like a little hard double piece What's that stuck to my right sleeve? Oh no. Oh! <laughs> Piece of label. Thank you. So instead of doing a narrow one, take it apart, flatten out your tea bag, fold it in half. You could either glue it or stitch it. Just remember that whenever you're gluing it or painting on them, they're porous. So it's going to go through until it dries. Right? And then you could stamp, paint, as we've seen earlier. And this could be a pocket. And if you put some of your uh, mixed media stuff on it, it makes it a little more um, durable, I would say. Right? So what we did this evening was, let's see if I can remember, remember, I put one in here. This is the one we painted, acrylic paint on, a little piece of tea bag, painted on it, spattered it, and I glued it on that page. Then I did one, did we put it in here? Yes, this was the cluster. We stamped the cluster, added some fiber, and then added the tea bag tag. Okay, mini pearl. So that's an idea. Then, like Natasha does on one of her. Um... Oh, thank you, Janice one of her videos i'll put the link in what and she got a handheld singer sewing machine for christmas oh my gosh Ange, you need some downtime too kid um natasha took pieces of um, pictures or like a little something from a magazine this happens to be wrapping paper you could take an image. We did, I showed you how to do that at the beginning of the video. This is again as a piece of wrapping paper. And we did this. See, he dried up nice. He dried up nice. But if you have a little Timmy photo, anything. And so see how nice that looks on a page? It doesn't have to be Christmas. These just happen to be Christmas because I saved. Some of my wrapping paper from yesterday that I liked. Okay. So they're cool. And she did hers, I think maybe with Mod Podge, but you could use your golden matte medium. I used Elmer's glue all tonight. And then we did this. You saw her do those? Cool, right? She's she's a talented, talented girl. This is the one we just sprayed. We put a stencil down. I painted on this because my sprays weren't working. And then this is some of the tattered angel spray. So I've got a little bit of a shimmer there. But again, I could paint, draw, doodle, stamp on top of this. Janice also, we didn't do this. Um, you could put some gesso down and then um, paint on it. Now, of course, if you're using white gesso, it's going to be white. But like she said, it gives it a little more uh, tooth and won't be as porous but you could also if you have any clear gesso you could do that so then we also stamped oh uh, no this is the doodle so this we did watercolor this is the ink tense watercolor and then doodled on top yes yeah, she is very creative and i love her little accent and she gets everything all mapped out for you you know yeah, I like the sprays too. Now, this was just the Rusty Hinge. This is a Timmy spray. 
on just a piece of um, tea bag, but it really feels cool. And even though it's plain now, I still did put the stencil down, but you can see a lot of it, you know, ran together, which I don't mind. I've got a little bit of the pattern here, um, but that's cool. And then this one I stamped and then I put the glue all right. And then we tried painting on it. So I painted, this is ink tense watercolor on that one on the back side where it's shiny from the glue. This is regular watercolor paint. And then we flipped it and we painted on the matte side as well. Ink tense, regular watercolor. This was Jane Davenport. But that's a cool look as well, right? And really, you could use either side. Yes, the glue makes it feel really good. Thank you, Janet. And then we did um, a gel print, which, of course, I'm at the bottom of the class when it comes to gel printing. So I just did like a little light blue color and just did some images on the plate. Hi, Mary. And um, made the little imprints. And then I stamped that little flower. And then I did embossing powder on that one. So I think that's kind of cool. So I like them. I think they turned out pretty, pretty cute. So I'm going to have to try the gesso sometime. Or like, I wish I could find the pockets that Peggy gave me. Uh, Peggy sent me a bunch of pockets. I have them all tucked away in an envelope. And I just don't know where I put them right now. I just really didn't think about that. I've just got stuff stacked in front of stuff. I really need to take some time. You really like the embossing one? Yeah, I think it would be cute. Now, I did see, I did these a while ago on a screen. These are those Timmy engravings and then we took the um the embossing powders on these but i'm wondering how cute these would look did i miss dana hi dana dana my friend dana dana tilton smith hi how's chris did you have a nice christmas No, they're not lost. They're just behind the rubble over here. I have them in an envelope, and I know what's what area they're in. I just can't pull them out without knocking over more jazz. But see, I wonder how this would look with a piece of um, you know, a piece of um, tea bag on it. You know. So, and there's, I'm sure there's more stuff we could do with this stuff, right? With the tea bags. There's just some of the ideas. So I'm thinking I really want to maybe stitch this and um, maybe do this kind of a thing on this and make a pocket. So I'm just getting ready to wrap up, Dana. I've got to have me a tinkle. And had, had such a busy day yesterday that uh, I'm a little beat. Kind of beat to the socks. A little beat to the socks, if I'm being honest. Uh, Mama Lori's fibromyalgia is giving her a, giving her a run for her money today. Really, if I'm if I'm being completely honest, I think I slept most. I think I slept most of the day. So, and then uh, to start off the stream, we warmed up with doing. Now this didn't have the tea bags, but I just gotten taken some of my wrapping paper, 
wraps. My sisters are like, you're not. See, our grandmother used to save wrapping paper, but she would use it to rewrap. Um, but I, you know, used it to do a journal page in my, not my everyday print uh, page. My, uh, not my everyday journal. And the thing is, <clears throat> you just, I don't know. I know it's trash, but you know, some of it's cute trash. My son gave my granddaughter, um, it's not his daughter, it's his niece, um, a journal. It's one of those journals. I forget what they call it. I have one, but I forget the name of it. But on each page, it tells you like, take this journal in the shower with you or uh, scribble and melt crayons on this page or take this outside and jump on. I know cute paper, right? Jump on this page. So it just gives you a prompt on each page. And so she was unwrapping a gift and it had a really cute Santa tag on it. And she was popping it in the trash bag. And yes, there you go, Dana. All right, exactly. A wreck it journal. And I said, oh, honey, don't throw that away. Let's put that inside your journal. <laughs> and you can glue that in later. And she said, oh, okay, Ama. She tucked it inside the journal. So I'm getting, she's seven, getting her started young. You know what I'm saying, girls? Know what I'm saying? So this was my page for today. So we warmed up with that. So I really do um, appreciate y'all being here this evening with me. I thank you so very much. And uh, I'm going to go, I think, put my feet up and probably fall right back to sleep. I usually need a day to recoup after... Um, up and down steps at my daughters and then my sisters and you know just being out of my if you're someone who has um, fibromyalgia and you get out of your routine for the day like I'm on medication to help keep me moving which works very well um, but if I'm out of my routine it takes me a little bit to get get back in my groove so thanks for being here I'm going to cut out a little early and gosh, I hope you all had a really great day tomorrow. Now, don't forget, we have got the New Year's Eve streamathon coming up, and that will be Saturday. Saturday is New Year's Eve. So, uh, Mary will be kicking that off for us early in the morning. If you need to see a schedule, it's on my community tab and on several of the girls' community tabs. There are um, little uh, advertisements or banners in Fibstigity that's um, been posted. If you have any questions, get a hold of one of us gals that you know have been in the streamathon. We'll be happy to answer questions for you. But keep looking out for those reminders throughout the week. All right. And uh, I'm not even going to bother to try to remember what the schedule is going forward this evening. I mean, today, yeah, Saturday, because Christmas Eve was Saturday and Christmas was Sunday. So it'll be the same for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Okay, it gets confusing. All right. All right, Pam, safe travels. Okay, honey, as you're taking your daughter out to Wisconsin. Thanks, girls. I appreciate it so much. Don't forget, take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. And I will see you at least by the weekend, if not sooner. All right. Oh, that's right. I'm streaming Thursday. Don't forget my Thursday morning stream. I hope I don't forget. My hubby will remind me. All right, ladies, take care. Thanks so very much. I'll see you soon.